our editor-in-chief, uh, Wasbir Hussain, joins us over the phone to give us uh, more details uh, regarding these developments coming in from Manipur. Well, Wasbir, Manipur continues to be on the eve of uh, Home Minister Amit Shah's visit. There are reports of fresh firing, arson and even deaths in the last 24 hours. So, your take on the entire matter? Uh, yes, uh, Puja, this is the worst ethnic clashes that Manipur has witnessed in recent memory. Uh, earlier, of course, uh, there were ethnic clashes that Manipur had witnessed in the past. In the 90s, there were these Kuki Naga clashes. That was an ethnic clash, uh, which we remember covering those days. But this is the worst ethnic clash that Manipur has been facing in decades. Uh, now, as per reports, 86 people, 86 people have died since morning. And now we have reports of heavy firing in the Kurkul area in Impal West. Uh, and, and, and Kurkul area in Impal West, as well as uh, in the Lema Kong area, not far away from the uh, 57 Division of the Indian Army's 57 Mountain Division headquarters. So there is heavy gunfire going on. There is also reports of heavy gunfire in the Subno area. That was the scene of heavy firing the last 72 hours. Uh, hundreds of people have been evacuated from the Subno area in Kachin district. Uh, and yesterday, as the army troopers uh, were sent to evacuate uh, the, the, the villagers from the Subno area, they were met with protests by women folk, uh, not knowing why the security forces were there. And then, of course, that required the intervention of the chief minister and the state BJP president. But right now, what we, we are seeing is that the situation is absolutely in the boil. It has, in fact, escalated uh, with just about two hours left for Union Home Minister Amit Shah to land in capital Imphal for assessment of the situation. The situation has absolutely escalated. There's intense gun battle at this point in at least three to four localities three to four areas in different districts of Imphal, Imphal West, Kark, Imphal West and Kaksing districts, of course. And now, as we have been reporting, in the middle of this violence, there are hopes, with the state government also said that uh, the chief minister yesterday uh, saying that uh, Mr. Amit Shah, uh, with his experience, is coming to Manipur and the situation will be resolved. Uh, that means that is, an, that, is, uh, uh, that is almost like a statement of desperation where all hopes are pinned on the uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah. Of course, his deputy, Nityananda Rai, the Minister of State for Home, uh, the, uh, he has been camping in Imphal for the past one week. He had made at least two visits to Churachanpur. He had traveled to Moray. He had had some preliminary rounds of discussions with the uh, civil society leaders on both sides. But And there have been numerous appeals by Chief Minister Biren Singh and, uh, and uh, civil society leaders as well, and including prominent personalities. But uh, to no avail, you see, because there is no uh, end in sight as far as the, the violence is concerned. Uh, and, and, and one thing, uh, unless uh, the, 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 the people who hold uh, sophisticated weapons are disarmed. This kind of a situation is definitely going to go on. And that is a huge challenge on the part of the authorities. Now, the state government yesterday uh, said that they had launched a combing operation uh, to cleanse the place of the people roaming around with guns, whether they are insurgents roaming around in guns, whether they are villagers roaming around with guns. Secure, the, the situation is absolutely unclear. The whole thing is absolutely hazy. So in this kind of a scenario, um, it is now one thing is clear that in the going by the trends in the last couple of weeks is that there is weapons, sophisticated weaponry floating around in Manipur and the hands of either the militants or perhaps even the common people uh, or even certain groups and organizations who are not necessarily insurgents. So this is a situation that Manipur has got itself into. And that is something which is uh, really, really alarming. In the process, already more than 35,000 people, more than 35,000 people have been displaced from their homes. More than 2,000 whole houses have been burned down. And as I have said right at the beginning, uh, uh, 86 people are officially recorded to have killed since this morning. Added to it will be a couple of more because during the day, this intense firing that we have been reporting, there is already reports of one dead in the Kurkul area in the, uh, during, the, during the crisis. So these are very, very difficult times for the common people in, in, in Manipur on both sides, whether it is the hills, whether it is the valley. And, 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 and what we have, uh, we have been seeing in the last couple of weeks is that none of the strategies adopted by the authorities 
is seems to be working. Therefore, everyone is feeling their hope, whether it is the cookie level groups, whether it is the KNO, the United People's Front, whether it is the, the CARCOM, whether it is Chief Minister Brain Singh himself, everyone is pinning their hopes on Union Home Minister Amit Shah, who will be landing in less than two hours' time. Now, was very... Of course, uh, Union Home Minister Amit Shah will be in Manipur for three days and is expected to meet community leaders and groups from both valley and hills. So dialogue is likely to be the mantra to peace here. Absolutely. Dialogue has to be the strategy that, uh, that has to be adopted by the authorities, by the government. But the point is, uh, do, we, do we see a situation where the government alone can, can uh, you know, uh, restore normality? Now, what is, will be the role of the civil society? If, if the civil society on both sides uh, think only about on the community line, if the civil society on both sides do not rise above their community line, if they do not talk about peace in the state of Manipur, uh, I think uh, it will be rather challenging for the government to move forward in its effort at peacemaking. So, first of all, the challenge before the security forces, whether it is the army, whether it is the some rifles or other paramilitary forces, uh, we have we know that more than 35,000 central paramilitary force are uh, being deployed in the in the in the state ever since the violence broke out on the 3rd of May. So this is quite a huge figure: 35,000 paramilitary troopers on the ground in the disturbed areas, and, and not to speak of the Manipur police and the Manipur rifles. Now there is also a huge trust deficit. The Hill people have been alleging that it is the Manipur rifle command uh, rifles and the Manipur police commandos who are supporting or aiding the civilians at attacking the Kuki villages when on the government side uh, and, and the government of Brian Singh saying that it is not a fight between communities, that Kuki militants are involved uh, in this fight directly. Chief Minister yesterday gave a figure to our channel. He said that 33 Kuki militants have been killed in the last uh, couple of couple of days or maybe maybe a week. That was not very clear. And and in response, the KNO leader saying that not a single person from the Kuki militants have died in this violence, that most of the people are in the designated camps. So it claims and counterclaims, uh, Puja. It is very difficult uh, to ascertain, get an independent version for journalists or channels. And in the process, uh, and it is very difficult, like the government is facing difficulty in dealing with the situation, and a channel like us, despite our best efforts of trying to come up with objective reporting, is very, very difficult because if you, both sides have claims and counterclaims, which is, of course, quite understandable and quite natural, and therefore the challenge uh, before the government is huge, and, and one has to wait and watch as to what approach, you know, Home Minister Amit Shah adopts as he arrives on a three-day visit to Manipur in less than two hours' time.